So what does one of the leading Brexit supporting business voices make of it all? Well, Sir Rocco Forte, who founded and runs the eponymous luxury hotel chain, joins me now. Rocco, very good afternoon to you. Thank you. It feels as if we're heading for a softer Brexit. What would be wrong with that from your pers perspective? Because uh, we, we have all, we, we end up with all the disadvantages of staying in the European Union uh, without any of the advantages. We, have, we will have no say uh, in legislation that's passed which will affect this country and, and also our trade policy. So we will not be able to lower tariffs to suit, to suit our industries and, and our economy. Uh, and we'll be stuck under control of the European Union. So I was, just, yes. I was just saying, Jacob Rees-Mogg there appears to, one of the leading Brexit voices, appears to have swung behind Theresa May's deal. Would well, you now encourage others think, to do this? I think we're sort of in a very humiliating uh, position. We've, made, we've been made to look a laughing stock across, across the world. Um, and I think to some degree we've sort of, uh, we've abandoned democracy and we seem to have a uh, dictatorship run by the elite in this country. But the, the, I think uh, we have to face uh, uh, the reality and be pragmatic. And I would, I would support uh, the, the, the Mrs. May's withdrawal agreement on the basis that she would stand down and that the whole negotiating team is changed. We have a Brexiteer in charge and some hard-nosed people who know how to negotiate are not on, engaged in a diplomatic exercise with the European Union to run the show. I think then we'd have a chance of pulling pulling some uh, irons out of the fire. All right, so who would you like to see succeed Theresa May then? Well, I think there are a number, there are a number of candidates. At the end of the day, it's not for me to, to say which one is the right one. I mean, I think it'd be, that's for members of parliament to decide. But I think there, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's always Boris and, uh, and Dominic Raab is also, I think, a very good candidate. Of course, Dominic Raab didn't exactly cover himself in glory when he was Brexit secretary, did he? Well, I mean, he, 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 had, uh, he was completely undermined, as his predecessor was. Uh, I mean, the, uh, this is Mrs. May's deal. It's all her fault at the end of the day. She kept uh, the cabinet in the dark. She, uh, she jumped checkers on them. She undermined two Brexit secretaries who are carrying on developing their own, uh, their own uh, policies. Uh, with, and, and she, uh, uh, in an underhand way, uh, secretly developed her own. I mean, uh, one of the interesting points about the, all this is freedom of uh, movement across the EU. It looks as though, obviously, a softer Brexit, we'd be under roughly the same rules as we are now. Do you not worry that your UK hotels with a harder Brexit, the Balmoral in Edinburgh and Browns in London, would, would suffer a loss of workers under tougher rules? You know, we had, we had 274,000 of net immigration into this country uh, last year. 74,000 was from the European Union. So three quarters of it was from on a controlled basis. We're going to continue to have immigration. Obviously, the, the rules have to be worked out and, uh, and people coming in would have to uh, initially come in on a temporary basis uh, under, under, under work visa. Something similar to the Swiss system uh, would probably work very well. British Hospitality Association, the, your main industry trade body, they are very fearful of what a, what a hard Brexit would mean. No, I think they're, they're working, uh, they're working uh, uh, with the government uh, and, and the Home Office to help develop the policy that will be put in place uh, once we leave. Well, more than half of your hotels are in the EU. It can't be that bad a place in which to do business, can well, it? Well, most of my hotels are in the EU. I only two in the UK at the moment, although I'm working to try and, and, and have more in the UK. The, 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 the reality uh, uh, is it's very difficult to do business uh, in, in, the, in the EU compared to Britain. Corporate taxes are higher, labour on costs are much higher, uh, bureaucracy is, uh, is much, makes things much more uh, more difficult, and the unions are all powerful, like they were here in the 70s. The the um, uh, so, but if if you're a, an international hotelier with a luxury chain, you've got to be represented uh, in the major cities uh, across Europe. So I have no option but to to work in those conditions. But I see the difference between those countries and this country, and that's why I'm so keen that we should leave the European Union. All right, Sir Rocco Forti, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much.